first of all, is just the hospitality that my family, my staff um, has received since being, just being in Conway and in the Murder Beach area. And I think that's how we build it, you know, like figuring out who the people are, um, showing them who we are in our heart, mm -hmm. and then passing that over to our, to our guys. Um, I think the recruiting game has changed and the scheme has changed. Of, uh, the landscape has changed a little bit. But we still feel good about it, and we still feel like, um, you know, if we get guys that have the right kind of character, that have the right kind of grit and, and toughness to them, and then obviously some talent, um, just trying to identify, we've identified those guys, and now it's the work, yeah. right? And I think the work is really, really what's important. And I told the guys, like, what we're doing right now is we're mixing the cement, you know, to be able to pour throughout the season mm -hmm. to lay the foundation of what a – what a what a Justin Gray coach um, team will look like here at Coastal, and um, these guys are working hard, trying to get you know, it's the summer, so we got some guys banged up, but the dudes will play with relentless effort. They will freaking compete, and they will be together, and, and that's what I'm excited about. When you were a standout at Wake Forest, October 15th was the day, so you basically had to have ready mix to get the season rolling. It's changed considerably. Is that for the good or for the bad in terms of the amount of time now you get to work with your players? Yeah, I think, um, you know, when you think of a whole new team, mm -hmm. you, you want to have time with them. You also want to be smart, you know, but with their bodies. It is a long season. Right. It is the travel, and um, what we've heard is, is, is rigorous in our league. <laughs> and you know, we just want to make sure that we're getting the communication and we're on the same page. I think that's what's really important to us now is make sure we're all speaking the same language. Because yeah. um, I told them it's got to look and feel a certain way um, of the brand of basketball that we'll play. Talk about your whole team in just a couple of moments, especially the newcomers. You have two holdovers, though, from last year's squad in Henry Abraham in the backcourt and also Braden McVicker up front. Let's start with those two guys. What have they been able to bring to the team? Yeah, I think it's they're, – they're like freshmen again, right? And they know the area. I think they've done a great job of making, making sure guys, you know, know where this restaurant <laughs> is and what's, what's the best beach what's – best, what's the best beach to go to and <laughs> spend some time. But they have um, represented – you know what we're all about and our core values all that relentless effort competitive mm -hmm. excellence and power the unit they, they represent that and that's why i think they were attracted and being able to, to to stay here and we're glad to have them i'm guessing you're not surprised that a young man from minnesota and another from nova scotia found the best beaches here in south carolina oh yeah listen <laughs> that's that's just not them it's the whole campus everybody from the northeast is, they'll tell you where the bench mm -hmm. beach down is down this way well, let's talk about all the newcomers. Don't necessarily have to break them down, but what do you like about the guys that you've been able to bring in thus far? Oh, it's, it's those three things. It's the right kind of character mm -hmm. kids. Uh, it's people that we want to be around, <laughs> we want to spend time with. Um, I think they, they're, they're tough. We're sort of building the mental and the physical toughness now um, and, and the talent. So I, I, I told them the type edge that we'll play with, it's the energy every single day that we have to bring. It's not, oh, man, we got to work out. Oh, man, we got to lift. No, we get to. It's a blessing to do those things and, and the abilities they've been blessed with to play. And I think when you watch us practice in the first 10 minutes, you should see those core values come through. You should see them, like, flying around mm -hmm. and guys having good energy and it's good bounce in the gym and it's, 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 it's a vibe to it. And they've done that, but it's the attitude first, then it's the technique. That's what we're trying to build. And I think all those guys right now have the right attitude. It's just getting the technique where we right. need it to be. That sounds like that's recruitable, maybe not taught, or is it a combination of both? When you look for the kids, are you looking for that initially that you can transcend onto the floor? Yeah, it's, the beauty is, you know, I have the, the power to allow people in mm -hmm. with the right energy or the wrong energy. And, you know, when we do that, it's what we put on the floor. I think so for us, it's always the players, you know, and, you know, when we're able to get the right ones, and we have guys that are really, really good, and we think they are um, a good fit for, for, for the brand of basketball we want to play. But it's year in and year out. You have to be able to get a little bit better and, you know, and improve and do those things. That's the job. So we're excited about it. How different is this transition taking over here at Coastal as opposed to what you did at Western Carolina? Oh, man, Western was great to me. You know, with Alex Geary and uh, Chancellor Brown there, the support that they gave me. Man, it was, you know, and I'll, I'll always be forever grateful for that. Um, but a lot of people want to come visit Coastal Carolina. That's what I've, <laughs> what I've seen, right? And uh, that wasn't always the case. 
uh, um, at the last institution. But now we, we got to tell, you know, I tell my staff, we got to get the right ones. Mm-hmm. We just can't have anybody coming in here, you know. And I think um, staff is amazing, man, um, being able to get them settled in and have them working alongside me and sort of elevate me and, and helping these young men. That's, that's what it's truly about. Sounds like the team is coming together. How about your schedule for the upcoming season, especially non-conference-wise? Where are you with regards to that? Yeah, we still got a couple things that we need to um, loose ends the tie, but we feel good about it. Um, hopefully, we can get a you know a power five or two on there that we can we can get a battle and get battle tested for our league. You know, you want to the non-conference is really to get you prepared for the the the, the, the conference schedule that we'll have, and we sort of want to find some games that sort of match up with mm-hmm. that and. Same thing with scrimmages and all those things. So uh, scheduling is tricky yeah. because everybody lying. Everybody's trying to get the best deal for them, <laughs> right? And it's, it's, it's everybody's car salesmen mm-hmm. and they're trying to do those things. And <clears throat> we just want to get good games. And we feel like we're, we're, we're putting together a schedule that will not only be um, challenging for us, uh, but exciting to watch as well. I can neither confirm nor deny, but Hawaii and also the Bahamas nice this time of year. Oh, listen, man. Yeah, tell them to call me. <laughs> you don't gotta, Coach Gray said, call me. If you want us to come to Hawaii or Bahamas, I know a team that would like to go to Hawaii or Bahamas. I love it. I love it. Last thing, and we'll let you get to practice uh, from today until the uh, school starts in the fall. What kind of progress do you need to see from your team? Yeah, it's just the continued growth, you know, and I, I think um, for us it's just – getting guys the terminology, yeah. understanding where we need to be. And then summer's about getting stronger and faster and more athletic and, you know, just getting better. So just overall skill. Um, we will take a trip to Athletes in Action, which is in um, up in <coughs> Virginia, Ohio, and it's a team bonding deal. Mm-hmm. I've done it every year with every team, and uh, it's sort of a change of environment. Mm-hmm. And, and, and in this world of um, the transfer portal and so many things are new, it's a way for us to sort of jail quickly. They do a great job of uh, leadership, and, and, and it's not coming from us. You know, they hear our voices a lot, right. but it's people that are really, really trained professionals, and um, it's been something that's really, really good because I think you can have a ton of talent, but if you don't have a right kind of culture, what is that talent going to do for you? You can have less talent with a really, really strong culture, and you'll win some games that you're not supposed to win because those guys mm-hmm. don't give up, you know. And so we're just trying to make sure we build the right kind of right culture and something that we'll be proud about yeah. no matter whatever the result is.